Hey guys. So, y'all see this fro? Um, it's looking kind of frizzy. It's looking real poofy. The shrinkage is real. You guys can't even see like my actual length. Like, look at that. This is like a little fake me out length check. It comes right here. A attempt, a slick low ponytail or slick low bun. We'll see what it turns into. So first, I have my hair parted to this side, but I'm going to bring it back over to this side. The reason why I switched up my part, this is something like maybe just a little fun fact for everybody. And I'm gonna do a deep part, so just watch. Um, fun fact for everybody. What I found, and this is what I learned from what, even when I had my hair um, permed and I was getting relaxers, uh, if you part your hair to one side only and only manipulate it to that one side, that's how you can sometimes get damaged. So if you switch it up, switch up your part, switch up your side, um, you will see a difference in growth and stuff. So um, I've also switched up my part side just to kind of help uh, prevent me from having too much manipulation on one side only because you guys know like this is always the go-to side to part my hair on. So the water helps us work with the hair and manipulate the hair. But I'm gonna take my L Organics. This is the Honey and Ginger Styling Gel. The only thing that makes me nervous is it has honey in it, so it's a humectant. And I'm wondering if that's going to make the slicking of this impossible, especially since there's moisture in the air. I love the shine that it just gave my hair. It's amazing. The honey and ginger edge control. Set this, like this has to be set. So I can't try to slick my hair if I really want an actual slick look, I can't really slick my hair and then try to like go out later on or something like that. I have to actually slick it. So what I've seen some people do, which is I think is really Okay, and the other thing that helps me keep my hair slick is like actually setting it in sections. Our styling gel, one pump, might need more than one pump. We are gonna see, we are gonna see. Okay, so I kind of like brushed this back at a diagonal. Now I'm gonna swoop it. I'm going to use the Styles Padding Spray. I haven't tried this on like a look like this, but I'm just gonna try it and see what that does. Cause if you can do it to set stuff, like why can't you set slick style with it? I feel like it's the same kind of concept. So, ooh. I'm gonna lay my head down and I will see you guys in the morning. And I'm just taking this. This is actually a slip um, satin scrunchie. I got this from Sephora and it comes in a six pack. And my hair easily curls up, especially at the edges. So if you guys are 4C, 4B, 4A and you struggle like me, we're in this together guys. You see, I smoothed it like that. Over there, so I just kind of smoothed this part down just to add some separation and make it all look nice and neat. And what I noticed as well is like something that helps with making sure that the hair that you're 
slicking down lays down is like following up with your finger. Like after I smooth it, I just smooth it down with my finger after that. So that side is done. Smooth it down the sideburn. And edges. And this is the final bun. Nice and slick. Sleek, slick, slick. You guys like it? Comment below. Let me know what you think of the bun. Let me know if you like it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, love bugs. Uh -huh.